often asks me how a nice little orthodox girl became a feminist. I think it came from my home environment. I had four brothers and two sisters, a Hasidic father and a Rebbesen mother. My mother was never m m feministic minded. And my father was quite tolerant, not to the rebel ideas, but he tolerated my ideas. It always annoyed me that the boys were more important than a Hasidic home, and the mother put the father always before. You know, the king was the father. We was like, we looked at our God as the God of Israel, our father, sorry, as the God of Israel. You obey whatever he said. And as I got grown and educated and started to study secular things, I said to think, why is it the man is more important? And that took me more to feminism. But actually, as I study feminism more and more, but it's my own type of feminism, I don't go with all the shtick, I found that in all cultures, the woman was always post-secondary. It could go through the world, and I can't give it to you on a tape. So then it didn't annoy me so much, but I did try to work and wrote about women's feminism, Jewish feminism, how the, there must be made like the aguna must be solved, you can't have a woman be chained to a man. Women must be given more opportunity to do a kid careers, work out of the house and not be just little puppets at home. Do people, the male pull the strings and they do what they're asked to do. I look at feminism always, I look in just any daily life I've went in. I look at my family, they'll always, even the Spanish women, your maids or your housekeepers or whatever, They'll always give at the table the man the food first. This type of little acts annoy me, but you can't change it so much. I try to change it. I try to see, have a daughter have a bat mitzvah. I mean, I never had a bat mitzvah. Nobody ever heard of a bat mitzvah when I was 13, 12. But also then I tried to make fuss over the daughters in the house. I made my sons and daughters do the same thing. I don't like the inequality. I believe in equality. All that boys and girls, men and women, mothers and fathers, should have the same opportunities to develop the God-given talents they give. So my feminism is sheltered and is the sort of starts with the idea that all people in the Torah has are equal. God created us all equal, but then after there are problems, a woman have always not got equal to men. But today things are getting up for women. I think that women have a lot to give to the world, which was neglected. Today you have in homes where the boys and the girls get careers, go on in life as they want. So my, that's my feminism is smacked, sells, has a lot of uh, influence from the Bible, from the Talmud, because in all of them you can find the opportunity for making people equal and giving equal opportunities. But you got to work on it to develop it and influence the authorities. I always say woman has power in the home and always had, but the authority, the last word was given to the father. Now we're trying to make it equal. They should have equal opportunity to, to influence their homes and their children and the world.